Hi everyone, Dominic Alexandria Camping Center. Sun's out, it's camping season. And today we're very excited to show you an all new 2022 Grand Design Explorer 221. No, let me restart that, okay. 2022 Grand Design Explorer 200 MK. This is about a 20 foot box. It measures 24 feet, 11 inches overall from front pin to rear bumper. And this unit weighs in at about 5,200 pounds as it sits. It's a nice couples coach with one slide out. Nice layout for two and the odd guess. Door side awning. It is a power electric awning by Lippert. So you just have to touch the button. It's gonna go out and I can even showcase that right now. So you don't even need to put down your coffee in the morning if you're putting it out. As long as you can reach this button, you're in business. There's no locks or latches or anything to worry about. As long as you have 12 volt power, you're in business. So this awning goes out eight feet, it spans 17 feet. A little bit windy today, so you see it go up a bit. But what's nice about that, you know, if it's too windy or, you know, if it's too windy, just bring it in. But if, you know, it's a light wind, you can just pitch the unit with these locking arms. Yeah, so that, that's the awning. We're gonna bring it in because I see it's, it's a little windy today, like I said, and the last thing you want is an insurance claim on your new awning. These things are like giant kites, so they pick up a lot of wind if it's too windy. There's struts built into there with the brackets, so it does absorb some of the wind and movement. If you're gonna be away from your coach, go to the beach or something, or go, you know, exploring the sites, I recommend pulling your awning when you're not at your coach, because you never know, it might just end up on the neighbor's RV. We always notice on the Explore exteriors that they have the matte, flat metal. So this is a, a, a stronger metal than the competition. 030 on the side, 040 in the front. So it's a thicker grade, about 25% stronger than the traditional metal that you see on more corrugated aluminum siding trailers. We have a rear ladder to access the roof for maintenance. So when you want to clean your roof or get up there just to see if there's any debris on your slide out or anything like that, this is a full walk on deck, 16 on center. So you can use this to access no problem. This is a one piece PVC roof with an 18 year warranty. So really nice properties there with the new PVC product, lower maintenance and less off gassing and things like that. So less black streaks and it has a little better sun reflection and things like that. On that roof, what's really cool is there's a solar package standard with the Explore lineup of products. So you're getting 165 watt solar panel direct from Grand Design with controller. That basically is coupled with a 12 volt refrigerator inside. It's a Furion 8 cube. We won't get too uh, far into that, but that package basically allows you to be sustainable when you're not plugged in. So really nice. Exhaust for the 30,000 uh, BTU furnace off the rear, which is a nice place to put it. Spare tire carrier and cover. You'll notice LED lights, not only inside on this coach, but outside as well. 30 amp service on this coach. And you see the little blue light on the little bracket housing here, showcasing that you do have shore power coming in. So, you know, if your, your power's not working and you see a blue light there, it, it, it may be something more internal. You have a black tank flush system on this coach. So that's a spraying, rinsing out system for the black holding tank. So you'd hook up a garden hose here and that will help keep everything nice and clean when you're dumping. Large slide out, comes out about 38 inches. Gives you some great interior space on this coach. And then we have the pass-through storage compartment that runs all the way across. There's some motion sensor lights and these are all magnetic catches. So no more clips to worry about. And you'll see over here, we have a little water management center here where you run your city water line through the bottom right to your connection. You might want to put a 45 or a 90 elbow on that hose and then you could fill your fresh tank from here as well. And then you have a battery disconnect. So when you're not using your coach folks, strongly recommend you just hit that off so it's not depleting anything. And um, 110 cable satellite 
And then this is your um, Furion controller for the solar package. This here is a nice flap. It opens up and you can put your water line through there. So when you're, you know, away from your trailer, you can lock this up. It's a lot cleaner. There's less on the side of your coach and little hands can't play with your stuff when you're not around. As we said, about 5,200 pounds. This is 5214. As it sits, weight at the factory, it has a GVWR of 69.95, giving you about 1,741 pounds of cargo capacity on this coach. We have a nice power tongue jack, 12 volt unit with the light integrated. So if you're docking in the evening, you can see what you're doing, but it basically up and down, very easy. Dual 20s, spot for up to two batteries. You know, when you're going solar, a lot of people will put two six volts on there and that just gives you a better system for any dry camping that you may want to do. A little check plate in the front, aluminum entry steps, and then there's another fresh water fill over here. This is a more gravity lead fill for your fresh tank. And then the other side of your storage compartment, this is your 25 foot 30 amp Furion shore power cable. And then that's your crank for the scissor jacks in every corner. So really nice storage compartment there. And uh, then you have the big grab handle to help us get into the coach. So let's go on inside and check out what the unit has to offer. We're inside this 200 MK. At first glance for a 20 foot box, this trailer is just awesome. Has so much to talk about, tons of open space. I love it. This model here has an oversized U or horseshoe dinette. I like this option because it allows you to have a second sleeping space. So this table drops down to accommodate two guests. So what do you think? You know, one of the options at Grand Design for this model is what they call a theater dinette. So it would give you like a theater seating setup and a little table that you would put in front of the theater seats. Personally, I think this is a little better to have extra sleeping capacity, but some people that don't have guests may prefer very comfortable seating across from the television. So straight sight line there. This is a smart TV that comes with it. And then it also has a Furion media system that will hook up to a cell phone, you know, run your music and all that jazz. It's on a swing arm folks. So if, if you want to sleep in and watch a movie in bed, you're in luck. Or hey, if you want to watch a cooking show to help you prep your dinner, you're in luck as well. Or if you just want to sit at the dinette or your theater seat upgrade, you can do so as well. You know, over the years, 17 years doing this, seen so many RVs and there's always a lack of counter space on a lot of them. So Grand Design is addressing that. It's a seamless countertop, folks. So you don't have a T-mold running on there. So water's not gonna get into your counter. Stainless sink, but you have a nice high rise residential style faucet with the sprayer. So it helps you rinse the dishes and whatnot. And then you have the Furion three burner cooktop with the glass cover. And then you have these little fancy blue LED lights. And then you have an oven that you can bake a pie or put in a lasagna. And then you have a nice pots and pans drawer you have tons of storage in this kitchen with the, the uppers and the lowers here. Furion eight cubic feet, 12 volt fridge. So this model will run with that solar package. So it sustains the 12 volt power that you put on the front with that package from the factory as standard equipment. I don't know, I, I haven't seen many um, travel trailers out there in this price point that offer a full solar package. So really great job. So this helps add a extra natural light into the main living space. So again, it's adding to that openness in the big, you know, airy feel we got going on in here. As well as we have a little fan here so if you wanted to ventilate while you're cooking and really get a storm going, you got two fans and then you got one more over here. So we got three fans in this section. If you're really a chef, you want to get some things going, you got three of them. So pretty cool. Bathroom is all together here.
we have a nice oversized shower here. This is more of a rectangular shape. It has a Nautilus shower door. There's a squeegee built in here. So this helps prevent mold and mildew and it keeps the curtain on a track so it's not gonna glue to you while you're showering. Another skylight above the shower here so it gives you a lot of natural light and, and it really allows for some extra headroom if you're a little bit taller. We have a nice vanity set up here with a little bit of counter space, a medicine cabinet with some great storage above and below. Then we have a, some cubbies over here and then some cubbies down below. And then we have a porcelain foot flush toilet. So really nice quality again, coming into this Transcend Explore product. I really like it. And then we got a pocket door. No door going out into the main living area. It's just a nice, easy space saver, traffic manager. I like it. 6080 Island Queen bed, really great for this size of coach, having the access all the way around the bed. You have some storage below the bed as well. There's gas struts holding up the bed, so it makes it practical to get, you know, larger items if you put Rubbermaid bins or something in there. And then you have wardrobes on both sides with little cubbies below and above. You have 110 plug, USB plug, and a little light switch, windows on both sides. You know, a lot of windows too for this size of, of coach. All ducted air conditioning through the ceiling. You'll notice grand design when it comes to the furnace. They're always ducting off the sides. So you see them in the cabinets, on the walls, off islands. So this creates less duct work in the floor so it's not creating soft spots eyesores when you you walk into your coach you see a run full of registers in the floor and it doesn't accumulate dirt and debris as well if you think about it the heat coming off the side is going to push the heat more efficiently throughout the coach i think that is just smart you know did, did i mention some of the r values in here you have double insulation in in the front cap at r40 r40 in the roof Go find me a travel trailer like this in this price point with R40 insulation, folks. So right by the entry door, we have the control panel. They call it a convenience center with their nice grand design logo. But this controls your, your lights in the ceiling outside. Motion sensor LED light right by the entry door. So that comes on automatically when you get in if you have it on the right setting. So this will uh, tell you the battery life, the fresh, black, gray, and then it has your slide out button in and out and your awning button gas electric on the hot water tank and it runs your water pump so kind of up in the out of the way so little fingers can't push stuff that they're not supposed to push so slide out button you know we'll show you something special today 12 volt slide rack and pinion comes in you know in a matter of about 15 seconds really nice and easy what I like about this layout is that this slide out doesn't affect the functionality of the coach. If you're traveling on a long trip and you know, you get a little sleepy, you want to be safe. So you pull over in the rest stop and you're, you're kind of parked next to another vehicle that you can't open your slide out. You can pop right on there without worrying about the slots. You need to get to the fridge to make a sandwich. Look at that. Shimmy all the way down the hall, grab your sandwich meat, Pick your favorite counter spot, you have access to it all. And then the third thing that everyone wants to know, the restroom, right there. So slide out, not affecting any of the three big common issues that travelers have. A lot of feedback from our viewers about slides being in and showing us what the RV looks like with the slide out in. So this is what it looks like. You like it? Comment below. So that wraps up our tour on this 2022 Grand Design Explorer 200 MK. I'm Dominic, we're Alexandria Camping. I wanna thank you for joining us today. If you wanna be notified when we post new content, subscribe to our channel. Have a nice day.